a quantity of plasticine with a volume of 512 centimeter cube is formed uh, sorry 12 centimeter cube is formed into two cubes what's the maximum possible total surface area of the two cubes so let me draw two cubes say you got a cube with the side length of a so this is one cube and this is the other cube okay and let's say the total uh, you're making these two cubes and uh, say this length is a and this length is B so uh, the the total volume of these two cubes will also be 512 so we can say the volume is going to be a cube plus B cube and that's going to be 512 and the second thing that we can write is area the total surface area or the area of one side is a squared so you've got six sides so this will be 6a squared plus 6b squared and you want to maximize the area this area so we need to write the a in terms of the small a or small b okay so let's write this so we can say uh, from this I can write a cube is 512 minus B cube which implies a as a function of B is going to be cube root of this I'm going to write this as 512 minus B cube raised to one third so a as a function of B is this so now we can say, well, A as a function of B would be 6 times uh, 512 minus B cube raised to 1 third raised to squared plus 6B squared. So what I've done is I've written A in place of A, I've written 512 minus B cube raised to one third so a as a function of b would be six times 512 minus b cube raised to two thirds plus six b squared so now you can pause this video and try to differentiate this in terms of or find da by db okay and i'll come back The reason that I differentiated, hopefully you should know, to for the maximum area, uh, the gradient should be zero. So that's why I differentiated this, and hopefully you can understand what, how I differentiated. So there's a chain rule. So I first differentiated inside and then the outside, and then this is a simplified form. So now we can say, well, for maximum area, for maximum dA by dB, would be equal to zero so again you can pause this video set this equal to zero and solve for B hopefully you have uh, solved this so what I have done is I factor the 12 B out so you have got 1 minus B times this equal to zero okay so we're almost there so we can say 12 B equal to zero or uh, 1 minus uh, b times 512 minus b cube uh, b cube raised to one third is equal to zero okay so this means b equal to zero yeah and now solving for this this will become one equal to b over uh, 512 minus b cube raised to one third okay so yeah so solving for this I can say cube root of 512 minus 512 minus B cube this is this is cube root of this or cube root of 512 minus B cube is equal to B 
Now cubing both sides, I can say 5 and 2 minus b cube is equal to b cube. So we can say 2b cube is equal to 512. So b cube is 256. So b should be cube root of 256. So now at when b is cube root of 256, you get the maximum volume or maximum surface area. And when b is 0, your uh, surface area is going to be minimum. Uh, surface area is going to be minimum. So yeah, uh, if, so let's understand this, what does this mean? So if b is 0, uh, we can say a cube is going to be 512. So a would be 8, so the surface area would be, uh, minimum area would be 6, 6a squared plus 6b squared. So which is 6 times a squared is 64. So let me get my calculator out. So 6 times 64, 6 times 64 is 384. So you get the minimum area of 384. Okay, so let me un explain this in graphically. You can check this answer. So if you enter this on this calculate on a calcul on a graphic calculator, you can get the answer. Okay, so let me get a calculator. So go to graph. So let's type in this. So let me move it to the side. Okay, oops. Hopefully it'll be fine. So I'm going to enter this function. So this is 6 bracket 512 minus x cube raised to x cube raised to 2 thirds. I'll put this in the bracket 2 divided by 3 uh, plus 6x squared. So, and then draw the graph. Okay, you can't see the so press zoom and auto. Okay, so this is the graph. So if you so you go G sol minimum. So you get when x is zero, when b is zero, you get the minimum area of 384. And maximum would be this point, which is this is cube root of 256 and you get the 483. So let me show you. 6.35 is cube root of 256. So 3 shift cube root of 256 is 6.349, which is 6.35. So this is how. Now, if you want to show the maths, of course, you have to sec and double differentiate this. Okay, so if you find the second derivative, d, d squared a by d b squared, and would be greater than zero for minimum. For minimum, if it's uh, for concave up, the second derivative is positive, and d squared a by db squared, db squared, db, db squared would be less than zero when it is concave down. So for maximum, you should remember maximum is a part of concave down and for concave down the second derivative is negative.